guys, I'm Brandi Chang for the Red Carpet Report. We're here in Hollywood, California at Lucky Strike. We're celebrating Matt Leinart's 7th Annual Celeb Bowl. And I can't bowl, but let's see if some of these celebrities can. I'm from out of town, actually, and I just had Seas Candy for the first time like really? a few months ago. Is it local only to California? I think so. We have Fannie Mae. I've heard of Fannie Mae. I thought that was a bank. I, I don't know, but there's a, there's a chocolate <laughs> place, I swear. It's chocolate. Okay, it's really I good. You. <laughs> well, are you excited to be here tonight? Yeah, I'm excited. It's a it's a good event. It gets a pretty good turnout every year, and it's it's a way we can get a little competition, have some fun, and always for a great cause. You know, Matt sets sets the example as far as how to give back, how to be consistent, how to. He's a he's a great leader off the field and how he gives his time. How do you give back? Uh, I, I do a lot of public speaking. I do a lot of private speaking, uh, whether it be boys and girls homes, whether it be. Uh, kids who've been in and out of the system. Um, I don't. I don't put a name to it. I don't even put organizations to it. Um, I, I have a network of friends and people who I'll just go out and, and we'll, I'll talk to people. Like it, I, it's so random and 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 I don't. I won't say chaotic, but I don't want to pick and choose who gets the, the my attention and my time. I like to give it to whoever is in need. Why is it so important to give back as an athlete? Um, it's, it's, I think it's a personal choice. I don't think anybody is required to. I think it's, it's great that most guys choose to do, do so, and, that's, and that just shows that they're proud of where they come from, they're proud of the struggle that they've had, and they, they want to inspire and encourage others to achieve whatever, through, achieve through whatever feats they might be up against. Were you at the ESPYs last night, side note? Last night, I did not go. I, I, that was the first year I missed in, in five years, so I feel like I deserved a break. I sat at home and watched it with my family. That's the best way to watch it, though. You know, just like hanging out and watching. Yeah, it out. you know, and it was funny because my parents have obviously never been, and I'm watching them like, "Oh, that's such and such," and you know, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's yeah, cute, that's cute, cute mom." <laughs> yeah, right. What was your favorite moment from the show? Um, I was, I was just, I liked the host. I thought he did a pretty good job, and I, and I, and I love his show. You know, uh, I think Mad Men's hilarious. I actually studied that for for acting purposes. I think he's. I, I don't know. It's, it's a great show. It's well written, and, 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 and he does a tremendous job of, of representing a, a transitional period in American history. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Sure. You have so much fun tonight. All right. Take care. Take care. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like this video and also subscribe for more interviews. And hey, go ahead and leave me a comment below and tell me what is your favorite underappreciated sport? Mine is shuffleboard. <laughs>